keep on a walking, a keep on a talking, marching up to freedom's land. Oh, they gonna let segregation turn me round. Oh, turn me round, turn me round. They gonna let segregation turn me round. I regard what Robert did as showing great courage and having very positive effects. <clears throat> It'd been the summer of the Birmingham church bombings and, and uh, rising tension over the whole area and Martin Luther King's speech and so on. I was one of a group of Yale students. At that time, I was uh, on exchange uh, Mellon Fellowship at, at Yale who went down there because of obviously our, our great concern about the racial oppression in the South the freedom of election, it was called. It turned out that the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra was turning up in Jackson. So uh, I was asked by the leaders of the organization whether I would go along with Robert to the concert. Obviously, I hadn't, I hadn't met him before. And this was a much higher risk for him than for me. I was approached by one of the white professors and asked if I wanted to go to jail again. By challenging the separate public accommodations law and attend a concert of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra conducted by Sir Malcolm Sargent. And of course I said yes. Uh, in fact, I first met with Sir Malcolm Sargent in the lobby of the hotel he was staying at, and I asked him to allow uh, people of all backgrounds to, to come to the concert. And it wasn't a question of having a separate African-American section. There was no admission for African-Americans at all. So it was, in a sense, even worse. And uh, he said, no, I'm going to go ahead with the concert. That's none of my business. We tried to go in, and we, we were stopped and, uh, and arrested for, for trespassing. And I was held, I think we were both held, in, in obviously, in separate jail accommodation for a, a couple of days before we were released. To some extent, I, I was protected by being part of the sort of mid-Atlantic elite. Uh, and, and Robert was a much greater risk than I was, showed great dignity. As expected, we were arrested. However, what the police didn't take into account was, by arresting a British citizen, they had created an international incident. They dropped the, the charges, uh, partly because of complaints from Cambridge. I think there was a motion in the Cambridge Union and uh, <clears throat> certainly the, the White House announced that they were going to investigate what was happening. Yeah, JFK, yeah, shortly before his assassination. Another man that's known, the shot him to be fair to the, uh, the, the, the reactions of, of the white leadership in, in Mississippi, they seemed very wary of extreme violence against the group at that time. The whites in the South, of course, referred to liberal whites as, uh, as in-lovers and traitors and hated them equally, if not more, than the blacks. Well, of course, by the summer afterwards, in 1964, the position had got much worse the killing of three students and so on. For the amount of time uh, involved, it had very positive consequences and it really did uh, lead to a change in attitude of musicians, uh, not only in the UK, but I think more widely about performing to segregated audiences. Yeah, I'm certainly very proud of what we did and I hope we're both on the memorial to the, the Mississippi Summer Project. I know I am and I assume he is too.